Many of you have watched our videos about hunting in Arizona. This is another Arizona hunt. This is in the Kachina Peaks Wilderness area. And I want to make sure all of you know the deadlines and the process of how you can apply for this tag. So here's how it starts. In early February, you need to go and apply. You go to Arizona Game and Fish, go to their website. You're going to have to buy a non-resident hunting license and then apply for first choice and a second choice because they look at your first choice and your second choice before they go on to the next person. And Arizona has a bonus point system. What that means is if I have five points and you have 10, you get 10 random numbers assigned to you. I only get five. So either of us could draw, but your probability is twice what mine is because you have 10 points and I have five points. So go and apply in early February. I think the application period actually opens in January. Go out there, sign up, put your name in the hat, and you have a chance of drawing this tag. And there's a couple other things. If you apply over time and you keep working at it, trying to get an Arizona permit, after your fifth year, they're gonna give you a permanent point called the loyalty point. So you, you apply in year one, two, three, four, five. After your fifth year, you have five bonus points, plus they're gonna give you your one loyalty point. So now you got six. So a couple other little things about applying for tags in Arizona. This hunt right here is called the limited opportunity hunt. Non-residents are not subject to the normal 10% cap for limited opportunity hunts. So every year they have different limited opportunity hunts in their regulations. Go down towards the bottom of the elk hunts and you're gonna see the ones that say limited opportunity. As you can see, the opportunity isn't as limited as some may think. So normally we're subject to a 10% limit of, of the tags in any unit or any hunt code because we're non-resident. But limited opportunity hunts are a way to kind of, I guess, improve your odds. This hunt had 40 tags. I got tag number 17, which means there were probably more than four non-residents ahead of me, but because the 10% non-resident cap doesn't apply, I got a tag. Arizona is a wonderful place to hunt. And even if you don't draw your elk tag, you can come down here later in the year, you can get an over-the-counter archery deer tag, you can dove hunt, you can quail hunt, you can do all kinds of things. And if you do apply for the elk, you've already bought the non-resident license, apply for antelope at the same time, the deadline's the same. And then in early June, when they have their application for bighorn sheep and mule deer, maybe apply for those. Or also at that time, you can apply for their little white-tailed deer. They're called, a lot of people call them coos deer. Some call them cows deer. There's so much opportunity here. Your investment in that non-resident license, you're gonna get all kinds of fun, excitement, cool places. And one of these years, you're gonna be the lucky one, just like me, who draws the elk tag, and maybe you'll be packing a bull out of the woods of Arizona. Apply and go to the Arizona Game and Fish website and don't miss the deadline. It's always in early February. Good luck.